Hi everyone, it's Stephen Handysides back again for another week with a very special guest, Kelly George from Kelly George Aesthetics, all the way from Perth. And Kelly's been up to some really interesting things with her clients, something that's been very, very popular in her practice, which is called collagen induction therapy. Other names around the world have been called uh, the vampire facelift and, and all sorts of sort of crazy names like that. So I'm sure you're all interested to find out a little bit more about it. So uh, Kelly, welcome to the show. Hi, how are you, Stephen? Tell us a little bit more about this, uh, this whole uh, collagen induction therapy. Well, we use collagen induction therapy uh, in our clinic or pretty much every single day. I would say I've got five to 10 clients a day who utilize it. And the reason it's so amazing is generally because we're just utilizing the science of our own blood to heal tissue. So, you know, in our blood, we have platelets and their job is to heal tissue. If you, you know, break your leg, your body will automatically send the cells down there to, to heal bone, muscle, skin. Um, and so what you know we've looked at is basically aging skin on the face is simply damaged tissue and so we want to utilize the blood zone mechanism for healing that tissue um, through using the plasma for that okay great so I mean it's I mean it's I suppose you get a lot of interest from from clients because it is using their own blood um, and it's and it's a completely sort of new technique is it is it quite safe i mean as you know i mean there's always new new technologies and new treatments that are coming out and you know uh you always hear these horror stories out there but i mean is this this quite a, a safe procedure it really is actually one of the safest procedures we do here i actually always tell my clients it's one of the few things i do in the clinic that i go home and can sleep at night because it's just using the patient's own blood in the patient's own skin and it's, it's kind of utilizing the blood for what it was meant to do. So it's so scientific that it has to work and it's so natural that really the only risk of it, the only risks are, you know, you're going to be red for a couple of days, potentially get a bit of bruising in some of the areas that are, the skin's a bit thinner. Um, and so if you're in a reputable clinic who's using clean techniques and, you know, use needles or anything like that, there's absolutely no risk to the patient. Okay, and sort of, so what are the, the different types of indications that, um, collagen induction therapy uh, is good for? Uh, pretty much everything from acne scarring. So the younger girls come in for acne scarring for quite regularly. Um, and then as we move into, you know, your 30s and your 40s, um, it's really important for just aging, sun damaged skin in particular, thinning skin. Uh, smokers or ex-smokers uh, really, really benefit from it because smoking obviously thins, thins the dermis and collagen induction therapy actually helps thicken and tighten the skin. Um, it's one of the only ways that we can produce collagen after about the age of 30 is by damaging tissue, forcing the tissue to repair itself and the process of repairing itself requires collagen and elastin. Um, so, you know, you probably already know that after about the age of 30, we don't produce collagen anymore. And that's also around about the age that we start to rapidly, uh, decline in the collagen that we already had. So mm -hmm. I sort of say to my clients, if you're not doing it for acne scarring in your twenties, everyone from about the age of 30 should be doing it at least once a, once a year. So that while you're declining and rapidly declining in the collagen levels in your skin, we're actually giving you a boost once or twice a year to make sure that you know, we're essentially preventing the aging process before it even happens. Yeah, and it's interesting. I mean, there's, I presume you can actually combine it with, with other types of treatments, can you? Like with fillers yeah. and... Absolutely, uh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it works best. You know, if I have a 40-something, you know, late 40s, early 50s person who comes to me who's never had anything and all of a sudden they want, you know, they, they really want to do something about their aging skin, I will ask them to do a series of collagen induction therapies first before we even look at doing filler. Because if you think about putting filler underneath the skin, all you're doing is feeling volume loss, but the skin on the surface is still going to be crepey, thinning, potentially pigmented, and you know those sort of fine lines and wrinkles that filler won't actually address. But if you're fixing the skin first and then you put filler underneath, you're obviously lifting nice, new, healthy, glowing skin. You're going to get a much better overall result. Yeah, great. So, I mean, in Perth, I mean, what, what are the sort of uh, typical patients that you see in, in your practice? I mean, it sounds like you've got quite a varied um, client group from sort of uh, young and old. I mean, what, what, 
when do you see um, clients really coming in to see you? Is it um, is it an age thing, or is it really just everyone has something different that they wanna that they wanna fix? I do think everyone has something different, but those who come to me, like, look, probably just as you're about to turn thirty, or just as you're about to turn forty, that's when I get the brand newbies in, going, okay, I've never done anything, I'm still using sorbolene on my face but I'm about to turn 40 and I'm having a heart attack and what can you do about my face? <laughs> or you know, I just feel like in the last two years, everything's just gone south. Yeah. Um, they're the ones who are great because we can just go, right, let's get you onto some medical grade products. Let's do a few collagen induction therapies for you. Um, some people sort of freak out about some of the other names that, that are used uh, in the world for it. But, you know, once you really explain how safe it is, for the newbies, it's actually a really nice stepping stone for them because they're not putting toxins into their body or, you know, those things that they may have heard negative negative things about in the media and they're kind of, they feel really comfortable with it. Yeah, I mean, I've seen the, the treatment we're talking about, the, the collagen induction therapy. Over in the States, you know, uh, it's commonly called the vampire facelift and, uh, you know, many, many of celebrities, I won't mention them ones, but, uh, you know, uh, they've had these treatments and posted it on social. It does look a bit horrifying, but the yeah, results I, are, are great. I explain to my clients that that's all a bit dramatised, you know, for, <laughs> for the media. Um, they don't look like that when they leave here. I clean them up before they actually even look in the mirror. So they really just walk out looking sunburnt, not like they've been poked in the face a thousand times with needles. Yeah, no, no, 100%. So, I mean, just, um, I mean, if someone was interested in, you know, having this collagen induction therapy, um, just, just if you can just talk about just what they need to prepare before they come and see you, what they can expect in terms of uh, treatment time, and then uh, just uh, a little bit of around the aftercare. If you could just cover those points, that would be great. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, look, essentially, you don't have to prep for a vampire facial. You could walk in off the street, and we could do one for you then and there. However, if you uh, if you, if my clients are really prepared to start a journey with me, I generally like them to be on some sort of medical grade skincare products for about a month before. That's what, that way we can sort of get rid of that top layer of dead skin. We can start to really um, improve the health of their cells, and they tend to respond better to a vampire facial. There definitely is post care um, because we put thousands of tiny little holes all through the skin. Those holes remain open for around about 72 hours. So if you think about the fact that the skin is, um, its, its function is to, to work as a barrier, um, we've now broken down that barrier for about 72 hours. So what I tell my clients is we don't want to put anything bad on our skin. So if they are using, uh, you know, kind of just products straight from the supermarket I tell them not to use that for three days and we only use really sort of high quality medical grade products for about three days we have to stop things like retinol because it'll penetrate too deep and you can potentially add to the uh, peeling sensation um, but you know after the three days you basically go about your day you will definitely be red for approximately two to three days and like I said potentially a little bit of bruising in more sensitive areas around the eyes um, but by day seven, you've got a full resurface. Your skin feels amazing. Everyone comments that their makeup sits better. Um, they just that overall tone and texture has improved. But then the collagen starts to produce anywhere between four and six weeks later. So even though you've got that immediate result at about day seven, you actually continue to see the improvements over over the coming weeks. Which is why we suggest a second. Uh, generally, we suggest a series of three, about four weeks apart. Okay, great. That's exciting. That's really, really great. So, Kelly, have you got any um, anything else that you want to just uh, in terms of any sort of top tips? It can be anything general. It doesn't have to be around uh, collagen induction therapy that you can give to our listeners about what they should do to really sort of uh, look after their skin. Yeah, well, the number one thing I tell all my clients is as you age, your cell cycle slows down dramatically. And what this means is that the dead cells sit on the surface for longer than they used to, which is why young kids have got beautiful glowing skin. And as we get older, we tend to get that feeling that we're just a bit dull or a bit gray. So anything that can resurface and get rid of that top layer of dead cells, like collagen induction therapy or really great medical grade uh, at home products, you know, a really well formulated retinol, vitamin A, that'll help do that. Um, that's your number one, you know, number one go to. Obviously, and I can't not mention sunscreen. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 
especially in Australia and New Zealand. I know that very well. Um, yes. Yeah, the, the sun can be very harsh. But yeah, I mean, the amount of times, you know, the, the, the one, always the one top tip I have, whether it's winter or summer, is always to, to wear a sunscreen, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's great, Kelly. Thank you so much. Uh, it has been absolutely invaluable for all of our listeners. So that's uh, Kelly George, everyone. So Kelly, um, do you want to just let us know um, what's the best way for people to see more about what you do um, and um, and your email or website address? Yeah, you can just go to the website, which is just kellygeorgeaesthetics.com. We are also on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, we do a lot of before and afters of our real clients on Instagram particularly, so you can see real results uh, from you know these procedures I'm actually talking about and the medical grade skincare that we use here. Um, and if you go to any of those sites, there's a direct link through to contact us. Kelly, you are a legend. Thank you so much for that. Thanks for the chat.